show. It's so good to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. I always want to be on the show, though. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Now I'm We've here. We've had you on the show in different other ways. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, we'll get there just now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So, MT, let's talk about it. Uh, but you grew up in Johannesburg. What was your childhood like? Well, I, was, I wasn't really born in Matatiela, you know. Mm. Uh, it's just where my parents were born. So oh, look at this French growing up, young man. Growing up, there was home. Mm. Yeah. Because <coughs> um, my parents only came to Joburg for work. So every December, June, Easter, you know, Makaya. I'm out there, but I'm a Josie boy, man, mm. original. Ah. Full on, full on. Yeah. Right, so in high school, you get into this rap thing, you get into some competitions. Yeah. Why, why music? I, feel, I felt like it's a calling, you know? Because mm. in, in my younger days, there was no cool song that I didn't know. Mm. The latest, Kwaito, R&B, you name it. At some point, I felt like a DJ because of the music I used to collect, mm. Mm. you know, and it used to be cassettes. Yeah, yeah, cassettes. Cassettes! I know. Cassettes! cassettes. MT. Yeah, I'm young, you know, uh, not that young. Yeah, not you know? that young. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I had a lot of um, cassettes and I just play music every day, all day. And, and that's where I saw that, okay. This is my thing because mm. I caught on to songs very quickly. Yeah, I was the first guy to know, you know, the the latest songs mm. in my neighborhood. You know, so that's where it started. You were the and plug, basically. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Then, then why, but why hip hop? Uh, I also want to break the stereotype. Like, um, Zegese, for example, is one of my favorite. Uh, Quite two musicians. You once said, uh, and still in a little rap over fit and good and bonu guti vele. Uh, I'm a couple of yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a couple you know what I'm saying? Sure, so sure. For me, being a hip hop lover, I have to stand up for it, of course. you know, and really prove that hey, we're rapping and we're making a living. Like by the age of eight or by the age of nine, you've been on different stages performing. Do you remember for your first sure. acts that you performed at school? Yeah, I remember I was performing in primary school. Nah, nah. Yeah, I performed in Sawawa's song called Bebo. You Bebo? are kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember any of it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which one would you love for an hour? Answer the no, question. It looks like a one hour, eh? Yeah. It's in a move, Valia Boog is cut his man. As Bambi screen and the Taylor man, I'm not I'm saying, I love this kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's such an interesting energy. I'm wondering, <laughs> you know, you are young, you have. You know, you are the plug music wise, as you've said. Then yeah. you hang out or you bump into Maraza yeah. one of these days. So then this collaboration comes about in it to win it. Tell mm -hmm. us about that story and that time in your life. Um, it was around about 2009, you know, struggling artist, mm. backpack rapping, you know, doing my thing. Mm. Um, since I'm a hustler, I, I was organizing meetings. Using my V360. You know? Is that a car? <laughs> the I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so, so on my way to this meeting, I see Maraz across the road. Mm. And he was popping at that time. So I was like, yo, hey, the, me the meeting can miss me. You know, here is my career here. And he's a guy that I look up to, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So from that day on, hey, we clicked. Even like, invited me to his house on that same day, like wow. the same time. Like, yo, I made him listen to my music. Mm. And he's like, okay, we're going to create. Let's go. Then that's what we did. Lala, you have achieved so much in such a short space of time. Mm. What is the thing that you are most proud of yourself for? What are you most proud of MT for? Like, in this, in this short space of time that you've become successful? Um... 
I, I was able to change people's minds mm -hmm. and how they view li life as a whole. Mm -hmm. You know, don't judge by don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm introducing um, the style of music that people are not used to. Mm. Uh, and I created my own genre, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I, I'm pioneering a lot of things, man. yeah. Okay, so, look, you've, you've also uh, achieved international success as well. It's not just the international success with, you know, there's the BET nomination for Best wow. International, yeah. and the, the, the Choice Awards, the Viewers' Choice Awards, as well as the AFRIMA Awards in 2017. Yes, um, what does that mean for you that you're on the international map? Well, it's great, man. Like Man's international now. Did you just say that? Just, <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, awesome. you know... <laughs> The love is amazing out there, man, I have to say. Mm. You know, West Africa, East, Mid, you know, and... Didn't you just I get had, back from Ghana, like, yeah, literally yeah, I did. this morning? Yeah, I did. That's why I'm black. Mm. Look at me. <laughs> 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 uh, so, yeah, I was out in Ghana, and the love was amazing, man. Really? Like, they picked me up in a limo and all that. Nice. I That's felt, what you deserve. Yeah, I felt like an artist, you know, like, hey, yeah. look at me. You know? Do you feel you get more celebrated outside of South Africa than you do here locally? Fact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who shows you the most love? Zambia, Malawi, and Zimbabwe. Um, Botswana also. Botswana. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Namibia too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nigeria. Uh, Angola? UK. Really? Mm. Nice. Yeah. Well, you're talented. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know about Avery. Yeah. You said you defined a new genre for yourself. So now with this album, you've got a definitive new sound. Um, always kind of on the cutting edge of making new things happen. Tell me about Avery. Um, well, Avery's my son, firstly. Mm. Yeah. More, more. You know? Yeah. So he was born around the times where... I was a struggling artist, you sure. know, <laughs> so there were a lot of speculations, like, is he going to be able to raise mm -hmm. the young man, you know, since he's seeing flames, he's busy trying to rap out here, it's not going to work, you know, so when he was born, I was given that extra push, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. How do you balance it all, being a dad and being a, a superstar? Well... My my kids love being around me. Mm. This is the yeah. little one. Yeah, that's hey, Logan. Logan. Logan and Avery. Yeah, he looks like a white boy. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. What's the boy? Okay, so the kids are with you uh, as often as they can be, you know? Yep. We've got a game to play yes. with. Yes. All right. How do you feel about games? I love games. Okay. PS4, yes. Xbox. Yes. They'll, okay. This is a different kind of game. More, more. I'm going to play a quick game of Never Have I Ever with you, right? So you say your name. All right. I never, have, never have I ever forgot my speech. Your name. Nay. Never have I ever used my fame to get me out of trouble. Nay. I'm not famous. Never have I ever shown <laughs> my dick to the world. Yeah, I have. <laughs> nice one, nice one, it's nice one. It's famous than a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, That episode, you don't regret that episode? Not at all. Okay, nice. I like. I it. think that's great. Yes. I love that. You know what I was saying before you came on the thing? I'm like, you're so real. You're not even going to let that bother you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. Bygones. I mean, nah. uh, what, five years, ten years, what's the empty goal and dream actually this ties in with a viewer question from yeah. persevere it says ask mt what is his main goal regarding his music career there we go persevere by be thinking the same thought what what's the answer my main goal my main goal is to take them from the attitude to hollywood oh. mm. 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 That is very cool. Yeah. Uh, we can see you're, you're very tired, so we will now go to a quick commercial break. This is Training Essay on SABC3 MT. All the best for the Summers. All right, my Thank sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you.